Myths about selling one's soul to the devil have been around for centuries. From Faust to Robert Johnson, the idea of making a pact with the devil in exchange for success and fame has captured our imaginations. But is there any truth to these tales, or are they nothing more than folklore? The short answer is no. There is no evidence to suggest that anyone has ever actually sold their soul to the devil. Despite numerous stories and legends, no one has been able to provide concrete proof that such a transaction has ever taken place. One reason for this is that the idea of selling one's soul to the devil is largely based on a misunderstanding of religious teachings. The concept of a literal devil who can make deals with humans is not supported by most religious beliefs. In Christianity, for example, the devil is seen as a fallen angel who tempts humans to sin, but he has no power over our souls. Our souls belong to God, and only he can determine their fate. Another reason is that success and fame often come with a high price, but it is not one that involves making deals with the devil. Achieving one's goals requires hard work, dedication, and often sacrifices. It may mean giving up time with loved ones, facing rejection and failure, and enduring criticism and scrutiny. But these are not the same as selling one's soul to the devil. In fact, the idea of selling one's soul to the devil is often used as a cautionary tale. It is a warning about the dangers of greed, pride, and ambition. It reminds us that there are consequences to our actions, and that we should be careful about the choices we make. So why do these myths persist? Part of it is the allure of the unknown and the mysterious. The idea of making a deal with a powerful and otherworldly being is both fascinating and terrifying. It taps into our deepest fears and desires, and it makes for great storytelling. But it is important to remember that these stories are just that, stories. They are not based in reality, and they should not be taken as such. Instead, we should focus on what we can do to achieve our goals in a way that is ethical, responsible, and true to ourselves. In conclusion, the idea of selling one's soul to the devil is a myth that has been perpetuated for centuries. While it may make for great storytelling, there is no evidence to suggest that it has ever actually happened. Instead of focusing on these tales, we should focus on what we can do to achieve our goals in a way that is ethical, responsible, and true to ourselves.